Fyodor III Alexeyevich of Russia was the Russian Tsar from February 1676 until his death in May 1682. Having been born in June 1661, he was therefore only 20 years old when he died. He was a finely intelligent boy and young man, and even had a noble disposition. He had been excellently educated at the hands of Simeon Polotsky, uh, the most learned Slavonic monk of the day. He uh, knew in addition to his native Russian, Polish, and Latin. However, he had been disabled from birth. Horribly disfigured and half paralyzed by a mysterious disease supposed to be scurvy. He spent most of his time with young nobles. In July 1680, he married a noble woman, Agafia Simeonovna Grushevskaya. Um, he was a thorough and devoted reformer. The atmosphere of the court ceased to be oppressive, the light of the new of a new liberalism shown, and the severity of the penal laws was considerably mitigated. He founded the Academy of Sciences in the Zykonospaski Monastery, where everything not expressly forbidden by the Russian Orthodox Church, including Slavonic, Greek, Latin, and Polish, was to be taught by competent professors. The chief difference between his reforms and those of Peter I usually called Peter the Great, was that while the former were primarily, although not exclusively for the church's benefit, the latter were primarily for the state's benefit. In 1682, at the suggestion of Vasily Galitsin, uh, Tsar Fyodor III abolished the system of Mestnichestvo, or place priority, which had paralyzed the whole civil and military administration of Muscovy for generations. Hence, all appointments to the civil and military services were to be determined by merit and the ruler's will, while pedigree or nobility books were to be destroyed. Um, and he died, possibly of natural causes, and apparently suddenly in May 1682.